this is a so oh i found these designs for a so some ridiculous new merchandise for tour no i believe the murderer was dressed like this last night when they attacked Okay, no, I can pause it if it's new dialogue. If it's making old dialogue, design. I can skip it or what do you uninteresting mean? dialogue. Well, this design is some bizarre hybrid between the real creature and the cartoon character. It simply hasn't been researched properly. What's wrong with it? Well, those flippers? Pure guesswork. Nothing but foolish imagination. Nobody knows what Boggy's feet look like. No footprint has ever been recorded. So tell me, Special Agent Folder, how would you do a better job researching it if nothing has ever been recorded? Oh, well, that's, you know, I mean, it's all a matter of taking the time to... So, it's just that a, is the feet But there's no way anyone would believe nothing but foolishness. Don't exist, then. If I cared about that... Next time... Oh, yeah. I explained to him what the real Boggy looks like and how they changed his appearance for the cartoon character. Why did he ask about that? Because some people are naturally curious. You should give it a try sometime. Huh. I have no interest in Well, this is... You're wasting... I've never... I have no interest Okay. So it's time I for challenge no time. With you. Are you setting yourself up for a joke? Something about a lockpick? Maybe. Oh, well, anyway, I already did this. Hmm. So... Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I have her. So I'm gonna go back. Ask the about the I costume. found these designs for a costume, a boggy costume. Aha, uh -huh, the legendary swamp creature. Yeah, that's the one. But these are just a child's drawings, are they not? You think? Hmm, perhaps. It's difficult to tell. Hmm. That's the food. Before he got okay. ill and rushed back to his office? That's right. This is going down in my notebook. It might be important. Oh, have you tried to do this juice? It? Some evidence from. Okay. Mm. Oh, do you know about I'm flowers? Sorry, I have not... Aww. What is it? Mm hmm. Okay. What can you tell me about these designs for a boggy costume? Nothing whatsoever. You're sure you didn't see anything like this while you were filming yesterday? Wait, hold on a minute. What if you- Don't you dare ask. This costume isn't your doing, is it? Made for your movie, I mean? My friend, there will be no costumed idiots within the viewfinder of my camera. I, I can see. assure you that. What about Are the buggy you sure? Movie? Isn't that gonna be, like, a guy in a costume or, or a puppet or, or one of those weird robot things? Technology has been- kind to people like me we no longer have any need for such tomfoolery i can create a perfectly believable swamp creature within the confines of a computer ah Much cgi cheaper, too huh. i don't really have time okay you won't be if you want no oh, i did that i don't really oh okay all right, let's get her. Wait a minute. While I'm still here. Even though I this door has two keys. So, which key should I use in each one? Well, that was. Oh. Remington's desk is covered in drawings and maps and notes all about Boggy. An ink bottle was spilled onto his work. I'm sure. Yeesh, it's a bit of a mess. Perhaps there's something underneath those. Hmm. It's a note addressed to Richard Remington. The handwriting is immaculate. Richard, our man of the world. A little help's in order. 
We're worried that the efforts regarding our elusive little friend might be in vain. Send word when you can. The letter is signed FF. And attached is a... It's some kind of metallic insect. The whole thing is a mystery. It's a... The richer... Where... Send word. The letter... And... It's some kind... The whole thing... Metallic... Vincent van der... There's a couple of numbers. It's a letter... My dear... I received your note two weeks, but I've only recently found the time to do the appropriate research on the matter. I feel like my time in this hmm. awful swamp might finally come to a close. All due to the simple realization... Hmm. The re Secret smuggling operations. Photos and paintings line... But one of the frames is empty. Wait a second. What are these pieces on the floor underneath it? This photo is ripped, but it looks important. If I can piece it, maybe it'll... Okay, well, this goes... This is quarter piece. This is a quarter piece. This is a quarter piece. Oh, they're hunters. Let's see. You go about right there. Here for that guy. You're that guy. You're that guy. This oh. photograph. And it's a young Remington. Hi, Crow! And then some other men I don't know. They're all holding rifles. Maybe I can ask Harper about it. Hmm. Old I'm playing one of my personal favorite uh, point-and-click adventure games. Detective Grimoire. Maybe one of these days when I get... Get out of my... Get out of my... <laughs> Stupid hair, get caught. This is the a, kind of thing I can ignore. It's a very short and sweet, simple uh, point-click adventure. It has full of voice acting. Except for, like, notes and things. Um, and I, like, backed it on Kickstarter years ago. And I've already played through it, but I want to play through it again because they got a new one called Tangle Towers and that one's so much better. Okay. So I'm just Hunting clicking. Memorabilia. Claws, teeth. It would be an impressive collection if it wasn't so disturbing. Yeah. If you perused on Newgrounds, you'll be able to at least pick this guy out of the box. <laughs> Photos and paintings line the but one of the frames. Wait a second. This no, I, 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 I already did that. No way. No way. Is this a a werewolf? Oh! These animals. I don't recognize any of them. These animals. I don't. The open window looks over the wooden. Oh, and on one side a. This. I think that's all I could interact in here. I don't know. I'm gonna. St I probably shouldn't leave until I've searched a bit. It would be an. It's something about those three prongs. I feel like I just stumbled across an incredible. It's got goo on it. Have I uncovered a secret in here? Uh. Remington's desk explains why those footprints was found at the crime scene. What is that? Belong. I don't think of a murder shard, a glass shard.
Is this a Peru set? No. Oh no, the hunting photo explains why a hunting rifle was found at the scene of the crime. The hunting photo explains what? why the hunting rifle was found at the crime scene. Uh, there's something about Mr. Remington. The hunting photo explains why Richard Remington belonged to a secret society. Ooh, that's nearly right. The hunting photo is historical evidence that Richard Remington belonged to a secret society. I'm getting a strong feeling that Remington might be the bad guy in this story. Hi, welcome, if he Chanel. wasn't already dead, I would have loved to ask him a couple of questions. I should ask around. I love see if I can gather any information about his motives for being here. I love I love playing this one a long time ago. Also, welcome, welcome, welcome to the atelier. Please make yourself at home. We have a lot of critters around, so don't mind them. This wonderful little cryptid corner of the Twitchiverse. The Italian? Trinoli? Like a pasta? Ooh, I want a pasta dish so bad now. Oh, oh. hi. Aha! The great detective returns. Did you run out of ideas? Need a little Did you forget to have record right your voice in the proper office? Thank you? I'm getting a new idea. <laughs> it involves ignoring you. Like it or not, I'm here to help you. Oh. I get it. You give me a map, then you magically disappear and hide behind a tree for an hour. You want me to be impressed? Did you talk to all the suspects yet? I I'm working on it. You can't rush these things, you know? Have you noticed anything unusual? I notice that this is going to take longer than I originally planned. It is French? And I'm getting the feeling that I wasn't wrong oh. about this tourist attraction. You know what, what that explains a lot of the ridiculous costume designs for the Atelier like Games here in a as a whole. Dark corner of a swamp. It didn't make sense, and it still doesn't. Some things don't make sense straight away. You need to look a little closer. At what? Uh, an Atelier is a place for crafting. Hmm. Generally, it's saying like atelier or at atelier. Uh, it's a workshop studio for artists and designers. For me, I use it as my little hat, ha my little cozy corner of crafting. Nope, they've been here for years, and they're not to blame. They belong here. She's gone again, hiding in a bush, no doubt. I wonder if she'll ever tell me something I can actually understand. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I'm playing Detective Grimoire. It's one of my personal favorite, like... Let's oh, there's see. lots of swamp juice on this. Also, please First do not mind the noise. I really hate that noise. And now... So it's more than this stuff. Got it. Now I... I'll write it down. Hmm. This was the exact same lick. Why is this all the same liquid? Let's see. First and ta... Meh. Let me... Let me do this. So now we can have a moment to talk with everybody. Hi. We're doing... The, we're doing like... 
painful squeechy noises. Uh, what is it? I got distracted. Slime. All right. The fireplace poker found in the treehouse and the black leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Hmm. The fireplace poker found at the crime scene and the black leggings are covered in the same swamp slime. Sally's leggings. They link her with the crime scene. I'll have to ask her about it. I'm not. You should ask some. All right, you have no You've been information here so on long, anybody. You must have crossed. But yeah, I don't. Sometimes I feel like when people design things, they don't think about like how loud a sound is at times, and they don't like sound balance things out properly. But that happens sometimes. Me, I'm a stickler for it, so I'm extra cautious and careful. What did you think of him? I that also need to get man some more shoes. Was a threat to the swamp. We'll be better off without him. What? Hopefully, the curtain will fall on his little tourist attraction as well. Better off? With a killer on the loose now? There have been murderers loose in the swamp before. What? What are you talking about? In my time here, I've seen what? the swamp invaded by men, by hunters, oh. several times. They're relentless. What were they hunting? Wait, what about Boggy? Is that why no one has seen him in 60 uh -huh. years? They always fell short of their ultimate goal. That just meant they came back again and again, doing more harm each time. But this area is protected by law, right? It is now, but some men have no respect for laws of any kind. They tried to get me to leave my home here. I stood my ground. Obviously. But this whole area is a tourist attraction now. I doubt Remington would have allowed anyone to march into Boggy's Bog with a gun and start hunting down his main attraction. Hmm. Okay, actually, she paused there. Was, was I found these designs for a Boggy costume. Do you know anything about them? You're asking me because you can tell I'm experienced with needlecraft and sew my own clothes? No, but that's a good reason. Let's go with that. Well, these designs look like they should have stayed where they were. In the trash? On paper. Oh, uh, how come? Whoever drew them didn't really know what they were doing. You would have done it differently? Of course. I am a seamstress. Oh. There was a time when I considered sewing my craft. My livelihood. Really? When Richard Remington arrived in the swamp years ago, I offered him some of my handmade fabric as a peace offering. I don't think he cared much for it. Most likely he threw it away. A pointless gift from some strange woman. Oh. You can put that away. You probably gave him the curtain. I recognize some of those men. Unfortunately, they've hunted in the swamp before. Before it became a protected area? Before mm -hmm. that, yes. And one of them after that. No, thank you. Okay. If you bring me something with liquid... I've been... Oh, really? Did you find anything? Yeah. You. You must be confused. You found me today, when you barged into my house. Remember? You lived were in the already swamp. living in the swamp when the explorer came here 60 years ago. The explorer? That man they talk about in the museum? The one who originally discovered Boggy. You know who I'm talking about. His sketches and notes are the only real evidence we have for this creature. You already have his journal. You learned to read, I assume. What wow. else do you need? 
Hmm. I think you wrote in the journal yourself. Let's think about this one again. Oh no. You were already living in the swamp hmm. when the explorer came here 60 years ago. The explorer? That man they talk about in the museum? The yeah. one who originally discovered Boggy. You know who I'm talking about. His sketches and notes are the only real evidence we have for this creature. You already have his journal. You yeah. know to read, I assume. What else do you need? Why you gotta be like a mean grand -gra grandma? I need you to tell me if the journal is a fake. What? No, wait, that's not right, is it? And there's a page missing. Yeah, from I think the you know where it is. I think you know where it is. Why on earth would I know something like that? Because you were the only person here when the explorer visited the swamp. I have a suspicion that the swamp creature wasn't the only thing he discovered. You're suggesting he gave me a page from the back of his journal. Or what? That I stole it? I really have no idea. Yeah. If I could see it, I might be able to make up my mind. It doesn't belong in a museum. It belongs here with me. You understand? Okay. What if I promise I'll return it after I finish clearing up this mess? Then I'll show it to you. Is this you? Aww. Who drew you into his journal? It's beautiful. Sixty years ago, yes. He left the page with me. We agreed the rest of the world would manage without it. I think there's something on the back. Oh? What's this? Footprints. Footprints? I got- Well, you might be wearing gardening boots, but they're also in a bucket. <laughs> Given to a way bridge by the explorer 60 years ago, featuring a drawing of Lady Waybridge 20 years ago. Okay, so Boggy is cleared of suspicion, technically. Show it to doesn't. He drew me into it. I was 20 years old. That's the end of the story. I bet it's not. Does this explorer have a name? Yes. Are you going to tell me? No. Okay. So then I have... <laughs> Sally. To go talk to now. But yeah, on the topic of uh, Tangled Towers, I'm excited to play that one too. For stream. Uh, I might have a guest with me to help me with some of the puzzles. So what can you tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? I didn't have one. I think I spoke to him twice, ever. He usually seemed really busy, but more like preoccupied. Preoccupied? Mm. Like he was thinking about something else? Something that wasn't this tourist attraction? Who can say? What do old men think about? What? 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 Are you implying that I know the answer to that? <laughs> so I just fucking tossed Grandmar under the fucking bus! Holy shit! She pretty much just said think fast and throw a rock! Yeah, I have a pretty good view of him from here. Anyone supporting animal rights is okay in my book. His protests used to have a bit more energy, though. He spends more time inside his tent these days. What's he doing in there? I'm happy to say, I don't know. There might be something I can ask Echo about. Hmm. There's something people have noticed about Echo.
Echo spends less time holding the protest sign mm. and more time in his tent. I wonder if Echo can tell me what he's been doing that's more important than his protest. I'm wondering. <laughs> so. Hey. So. Hey. Oh yeah, I still gotta do your the challenge. The black leggings you found in your bag this morning. They're covered in the same slime that was on the murder weapon. Everything in the swamp is covered in slime. What's your angle, Grimoire? Your black leggings were part of the murderer's costume. Costume? Yep. Is that why someone took them out of my bag last night? Yep. Well, you know, I don't have proof someone else took them. If I had been wearing them when I committed a crime, do you think I would hand them over to a detective the second he shows up? Besides, look at them. What do you notice? Um, they're loose and stretched. They're loose and stretched. That's right, someone else, someone larger than me has worn these. They're mm. stretched out, especially at the waist. It's pretty obvious. So, let's see. Somebody stole them to use in their body costume, and then put them back in your bag when they were done? If you say so. It's not my job to know all the details. It's mm. my job to sell souvenirs. Do you want a souvenir? Oh, my, yes. Uh, but only if you choose one for me. Hmm. You look like you could use something to wind up. You can take this one. I do not like that sound. I have no idea what that is. Where are you? Is that one of your? I always thought it was weird that his feet are in that little bucket all the time. It's just part of the character, I guess. I'm surprised they don't sell some sort of boggy foot soaker. And that would be the one product I'd consider buying. I really... All right. You again. Ready with some cryptic advice, no doubt? What are you doing here, kid? Let them take him. Who? The, the murderer? That's my job. I gotta make sure no, that they- No! The creature! Don't take him away. This place is his home! Oh, oh, Boggy. Uh, hey, don't worry. I didn't really believe he could be, uh, responsible for this mess. You- you didn't? Well, no. Oh, that's right. I'm crunching into the microphone. I'm so sorry. I yeah, don't I don't think Boggy could, could hurt, hurt anyone. anyone. So, he won't get in trouble? He won't have to leave? Well, he's been out here for, what, 60 years, hasn't he? And stayed out of trouble for that long. I have a feeling some detective isn't going to change all that in one day. Well, in, in that case, he says... All right, Echo. I'm impressed, and I'm... It's a... He's staring into my... Uh, it should open. Oh. Uh. Hmm. So, what did Mr. Remington think of you? I mean, protesting in the middle of the swamp every day. Hmm. It wasn't his swamp. If he ever truly thought it was, then he was even more of a fool than he seemed. But he didn't like you hanging around, right? That man was it's exceptionally a it's a bog ignoring me, ignoring anything he didn't like. So, what, he just left you alone? He expected me to get bored and go home. He figured I'd get sick of this place and he'd have it back to himself. But he didn't want it to himself, did he? He wanted lots of people to come visit all the time, surely. Hmm, I'm sure it says that in the brochure. Hmm. Yes. Okay. You're asking the wrong. Hey, do you know I'm about these? I have... 
Okay. I heard you've been spending less time protesting recently and more time, uh, in your tent. Normally I wouldn't pry, but it's my job to ask- Untouched people have even noticed something like that. I usually get the impression hmm. everyone else is doing their best to ignore me. So, you admit it's true? You can put your notebook away. There isn't really any reason for it. Nothing worth writing down, at least. Well, if it's not okay. worth writing down, maybe it's worth hearing. In that case, what? you'd forget it. How do you know? Maybe it would echo in my mind. <laughs> Thank you so much, Atlas <laughs> Standard Fifth right, Fifty One, for the follow. Please make yourself at home in the interior. In Notebook time. We got a couple slimes. Oh, uh, they'll be around. Uh, careful. If you bring anything new, if you bring anything shiny, they'll, they'll tend to be like. Hmm. I have a silly nickname. You've been in your tent because it's been raining. <laughs> Why not? And as I usually. So. I don't think it's tactically been raining. Well. In <laughs> You're avoiding the tax collectors. <laughs> There's this spooky ghost. You've been in your tent, hiding from Boggy. <laughs> why not? He says why not to everything. I don't like I, that. And more no as I, I use so. You know what? Well, He's an activist. <laughs> and if I know a couple, uh, if I know media and how they portray You've activists, been they've been hiding with the tax collectors. The tax man. <laughs> Why not? Okay. I don't understand then. So what did Mister? Show it to some. There's something I'm missing though. No thing. I'm afraid. Hmm. Why are you carrying that around with you? I have a suspicion it may have been the murder weapon. Really? I thought Remington was attacked by something with claws, wasn't he? Hmm. Hmm. What? You're not a bad detective. Well, I found the photo in Remington's office. It was ripped up, though. I think he was some kind he of. He was a lot of things. Don't. Lose that picture and show it to Mr. Harper before you leave. Hmm. Show it to. No thanks. I'm afraid. Show it. No thanks. You come here every. Oh. Huh. Ah. Mm. Uh huh. So. Mm. All right. These flowers. Let's see. You saw Remington last night, but mm -hmm. had you met him before? Did you know him? I've never really spoken with him, but we've come into contact a few times. Oh, Vincent really? likes to handle that kind of work, and I like to let him. What do you think of this place? The tourist attraction, I mean. I can't say I like the idea of a natural area like this becoming commercialized. I know. I just can't understand why anyone would even try. I think Mr. Remington had his reasons. He looked like a man with a couple of secrets. Yeah. Like what? I have no idea. If I knew, they wouldn't be secrets. Mm-hmm. Okay. I suppose you've met with our murder victim, Richard Remington. Yes, I've been in and out of this place for a while now. Naturally, I've crossed paths with Remington a number of times. Tell me about your thing, sir. One. A real raconteur, you know. You liked him? So far, I'm getting the impression he wasn't the most popular guy around here. Well, that much is clear, isn't it? The man obviously slipped up somewhere, made an enemy or two, and bam, that's that. You mm. just can't be too careful, can you? Yeah, I think he did have an enemy or two. Or three. But you liked him. I respected him. Good head on his shoulders. Good business sense, that man. He understood how to make things work for him. Okay. So do you he know this? Be getting very... 
Do you know if about you that? Uh, I don't really have time. You won't be getting. Okay. If you want. I don't really. All right, then that's all you got. All right. Odfer. You said you knew Remington. Tell me about the dogs. <laughs> I came to work at his tourist attraction in the early days, when he needed help. Well, what kept you here? I know most people wouldn't want to work in a place like this. I actually like it here, so I was happy to oblige. You might like it, but I still don't see why anyone would build a tourist attraction here. Mr. Remington has his reasons. He probably had several. I don't mm -hmm. presume to know what they all were, even though we were friends. He had some secrets, some hobbies, that I was happy to let him keep secret. Secrets? Okay. Hobbies? A secret hobby? He a was a man hobby? with a dream. I can tell you that much. A hobby with secrets? How That's about Mr. Remington's old hunting rifle. He usually keeps it around. For whatever reason. He was very fond of that thing. Looks like it was fired recently. Oh! It's the same fabric from Mr. Remington's curtains. Mm hmm It's Mr. Remington's fireplace poker. This slime on the handle. It's familiar for some reason. Yeah, because it's the swap slime. One of Mr. Remington's secrets. I never wanted to know the details, but his men travel the world seeking mysterious animals to hunt. They consider myths and legends to be the ultimate prey. Ah, oh, cryptid hunters. I've seen those. I'm trying to I avoid a couple nowadays. Sorry. Actually, technically, Why don't I'm you not show it to someone else. I'm on the internet. Cryptids are everywhere. You don't know ever. I can't. That's usually for what. Okay, so. Why don't you sh You have a lot of sus- I do. He eats here a lot. I think he's been putting less effort into his protests recently. Which is a shame. I think it's an admirable cause. Okay. Do you talk to him much? Not really. Sometimes he likes to talk. Just casual conversation. He asks how business is going and what everyone likes to eat. Nothing of real importance. I- I don't know what to say. I don't know. So he definitely bro broke. There's a little. Back. I think it's part. I think Echo is the suspect. It's a hum. It's a frame. What is? Hmm. There's just something about the way he is handling himself that makes me like. I think he's a suspect, but I want to get into his locker. I'm impressed someone, and I'm... Hmm. Who would know about him? Hmm. I gotta think about this one. Because he said he really liked the cartoon. It's a po Boggy, he's having a grand Swamps providing the It's a Cop, that'll be 19, 1930, 1934 Copyright MCM XXX IV That'll be 19, 1930 You know what, I'm gonna try that so, have I asked you all the questions I needed to ask? What oh, can no, you I tell me about your relationship with Richard Remington? We didn't really have one, and now we definitely don't have one. But look, <laughs> all I can say is that he was a coward who enjoyed watering down history for his own benefit. What does that mean? What does that it mean? It means there are some chapters of this swamp's history that he never wanted anyone to know about. Did he like you sniffing around this museum all the time? I don't think he knew, to be honest. And even if he did, there's nothing he could have done about it. He has no right to this building. He knows that. We both know that. 
Why not? Why not? It was part of his tourist attraction, wasn't it? Hmm. No. It wasn't. Okay. So, you found it. I wonder who else knows about it. You know, that's a good question. I have no interest in something. Of course you don't. You're waste. A good example of how Boggy's feet are never shown in any form. No. They often use that little red bucket to hide them. I've never seen that. Is that the missing page of the journal? I think so. It's an important artifact. It belongs in a museum. Yeah, you're not wearing the right hat to be saying that. <laughs> you're not wearing the right hat to be saying that. <gasps> I have no interest. It belongs I in the museum. Think it's time I went to talk to Officer James. Beginning of the end. I said I have one more place to go. I'm impressed, and I. So it was 19. Thirty-four. It's a journal. I guess bad news. Remington is dead. I don't know what to do. Was my whole protest in vain? They'll shut this place down, sure, but I'll never know if I got through to him. Hmm. That's all he's written. Hmm. Suspicious. I didn't, didn't find, him. find him. What? You're not getting paid to wander about aimlessly, Grimoire. Get back out there. I don't, I don't need, need to. to. <laughs> Criminal Why record. Not? I thought he Let's was go. a prime suspect. Mm, well, uh, not anymore. Didn't you find photographic evidence of Boggy from last night? Let yes. me see that photo. All right. If that's not Boggy, what is it? Um. I found designs for the costume in a trash can. Not only that, I collected all the pieces of the costume myself. Well, nearly all of them. There's still the one that. But the footprints at the scene of the crime. How can you prove these don't belong to a real creature? Easy. What's this? Back of this? I thought there were no records of a footprint anywhere. No public records. The footprints at the crime scene don't match the ones on this page. They were just a product of these slippers. A part of the costume. But Grimoire, this costume, it doesn't have claws of any kind. How do you explain the three wounds on the victim's chest? Easily, sir. The prongs, the prongs match up the with the wounds for. perfectly. The handle's even covered in slime, see? Ah, but this swamp slime was one of the reasons Boggy became a suspect in the first place. Surely this only incriminates the creature further. You think so? Not at you? all, sir. That slime, it's not exactly what you think. It, right now, this is stuff is an juice. uncanny resemblance to the so called swamp slime. A bunch of it was stolen from the storeroom of the cafe, which reminds me. What? Is that exactly? That's a bog a dog, sir. Hot dog. It's the second reason that the murderer broke into the storeroom. He put this green powder on the entire supply, just to make sure. To make sure of what? To make, make sure, sure Remington, Remington got ill and had to office. return to his office. Remington went back to his office? Alone? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've been looking through your evidence, Grimoire. One piece in particular seems critical to me. I think we need to work the out... video footage? Vincent Vanderpeer filmed it last night. At the exact moment of the murder, I believe. Well, exactly. I think we can both agree these sounds in the background. They're essential in our mystery. Could you talk me through them? Yes. Just rearrange the descriptions on the left to match the sounds on the right. Okay. Drag them around and keep swapping until you're happy with the order. And if you want to hear the sounds again, you can tap on them. No problem. I can always check my case for... Okay.
Where's the, there's the blast. Oh. Uh. Oh. This would be the outcry. Hunting rifle. Oh. Yeah, this would be the thud. I ah, excellent. Oh. There's just two small details bothering me. First of all, if Remington ripped off a piece of his curtains, why wasn't it found at the crime scene? What oh. happened to it? That's easy. We found it inside this Turns head. Out the murderer took that piece of fabric and concealed it inside the head of the costume. Then he fled the crime scene to hide all the parts in different areas of the swamp. Ah, well, that's my problem. If Remington fired his rifle, how did the assailant survive and manage to escape? Did Remington miss his target? At point blank? A man of his experience? I don't think so. In fact, the answer to that question... It's the very last link in our chain. The one thing that has eluded me so far. Mm. I'll drag the clue items from the left onto my drawing, and we'll see what happens when we compare the p with the original design I found. So the head, the feet, the hands, the pants. So we're missing the Wait, chest. Wait, you never found the body piece, the torso. You're right. And I never would have found it, not lying around, not like the others. But what does this have to do with the murder? Ooh, I, know the I, know I know where it is. 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 I know where this is. I know where this is. Entire upper body. I believe it may have even been enough to soften. I've said we never found the shoes. Exactly. Well, let's put your theory to the test. Where is that last piece of the costume? How? It's here. We looked everywhere. Not a single clue. Simple. He's still wearing it. Let's go. I don't know what you want with me. Sounds like you two were smart enough to uncover the real criminal in this swamp. And lucky enough to have somebody else deal with him for you. You worked it out. He had his rifle on him. He got half a glance at me and pulled the trigger without hesitation. But why would he do that? You were... you were dressed as Buggy. He shouldn't be pointing his gun at a unique scientific specimen. Not to mention his main attraction. You're right. It doesn't make it sense. It doesn't make sense, does it? Not unless you're in on the secret. Hmm. Stolen by Buggy. Our police file forgot to tell me that Richard Remington was here to hunt Boggy. No. Oh. oh, come on. The hunting photo one. leads me to believe Richard Remington was here to hunt Boggy. Yeah, let's go! Secret society, an order of hunters, seeking out mysterious and elusive creatures. The order goes further than this one man, and much further than this one swamp. The whole thing is kind of distressing. I knew something was wrong as soon as I stepped into that office. I'm glad you finally come around. It's not just But the... what about Remington? He was a member of this... this order? He made Boggy his own mm -hmm. personal project. His own 
obsession. For mm. years, he hunted the creature, the potential perfect addition to his collection. But he owned the tourist attraction. He set it up himself, didn't he? He did. It was just his way of forming a legal loophole. Since the area became protected, he and his friends were unable to come here for hunting anymore. Boggy's Bog was just a front for his own little game. A man pursuing a creature. A creature that might not, not even, even exist. exist. And that's why Remington kept a rifle nearby at all times? Probably. Well, exactly. He didn't want to take any chances. Now, don't you see? I uh -huh. did this place a service. Did Boggy a service. That creature, he can live in peace again. Can he? You tried to frame him for murder. You wanted everyone to think he was some kind of ruthless predator? Well, think about it. Once he became suspected of murder, they'd have no choice but to shut this whole place down. Everyone would finally realize they had no business here. I mean, there's ways to go about that. How do you even know what How Boggy you know wanted? What Boggy wanted? He might not be what you... Your... Detective. What? You. You. It's... I... It's finished. Girl. Oh, don't be angry. You should be glad. It's finally time to leave the swamp. You have another job to do. I do? I don't know. Not that it makes any difference to somebody like you, but I never intended to kill him. Just to scare him. I believe you, him. baby. Boggy wasn't going to let him live here in peace any longer. But, true to form, he had his rifle on him. You worked out the rest yourself. Yeah. <sighs> well, Mr. Everstone, I'm afraid you'll still have to come with us. Fortunately, there's a police station just a few miles down the... <laughs> hey, wait! Wait, where are you going, sir? <laughs> So yeah, that's Detective Grim War. Got a cute little ghost in my notebook. I didn't get a hundred percent, but I had a good time. This is still my personal like, like I enjoy this game quite a bit. So we're gonna go to the just chatting scene. Why am I nowhere to be found? That was that was a good time. I love doing like small like games like that. That said, uh, I will probably have to schedule a Tangle Towers adventure because like I'm reaching the point where I'm getting out of energy. <laughs> <laughs> 